Dear friends, this is Abdul Basit and you are watching Kaleidoscope. The day before yesterday, that is on the 27th of December 2021, uh, the Pakistan Foreign Office uh, summoned the Indian Shadi Affairs or the Acting High Commission in Islamabad uh, to lodge uh, a strong protest uh, about the ongoing violence against Muslims in India and in particular uh, about an event that I think took place about a week or 10 days ago at Haridwar in which uh, uh, Hindu extremists uh, vowed to uh, kill uh, Indian Muslims and uh, some speakers even suggested uh, to pick up arms against uh, Indian Muslims and uh, kill them uh, wherever they see them. Uh, so this uh, demarche, this uh, strong protest, I think, was timely, necessary and uh, in sync with the provisions of the 1950 uh, Nehru Liaquat Pact in which both India and Pakistan committed themselves to uh, ensuring uh, well-being and uh, safety and security of minorities in their respective countries. But unfortunately, uh, violence against uh, minorities in India, especially against Muslims and Christians, uh, has been on the rise since uh, the BJP and RSS took power uh, at the center in 2014. We have seen a mob lynching of Muslims and uh, uh, during these years, uh, the secretion of uh, holy places, uh, as a matter of fact, four days ago, a church uh, uh, in Ambala in the city of Haryana was uh, vandalized. Uh, similarly, Muslims in another city of uh, Haryana, uh, Gurgaon, Gurugaram, uh, Muslims there are not allowed to uh, say their Friday prayers in open spaces. Every Friday, uh, Hindu extremists would gather at those places and uh, would not uh, and raise slogans. Uh, against Muslims and would not let uh, Muslims to offer their prayers peacefully. Uh, uh, and uh, now uh, uh, it seems that uh, uh, because perpetrators of, of such violence are not arrested, uh, no legal action is taken and they are not brought to book, it seems that all this violence is, uh, is taking place at the behest of the BJP and the RSS uh, because they see uh, this violence against, particularly against Muslims and Pakistan bashing uh, as uh, something which pays dividends electorally. And this is what is unfortunately happening in India. On the other hand, we also see the international community mute uh, even we do not see enough uh, voices uh, being raised uh, internationally against this violence which obviously uh, uh, is, uh, is breach of uh, India's commitment uh, to uh, international law and to several human rights conventions. Uh, I was watching an interview of uh, Mr. Nasiruddin Shah, he is a, is a Bollywood actor. Uh, he was uh, also uh, expressing uh, fears that uh, if the situation is not brought, uh, uh, is not uh, brought under control, there is every possibility that India may slip into uh, into a long into a civil war, a bloody civil war. So uh, this this does not really bode well uh, for India. And if this violence, violence continues, uh, that has serious repercussions not only for India but for the region and for the world as a whole. So one hopes that uh, the international organizations, particularly uh, Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International, they would step up to the plate and uh, would take due cognizance of what is uh, happening in India. And then this is not uh, restricted to this violence uh, or these such restrictions are not re restricted to India. Even if uh, uh, you go to the occupied uh, Jammu and Kashmir region, uh, I have uh, reading different reports. Uh, uh, Sirinagar, in, in Sirinagar, uh, Jamia Masjid, it is closed uh, for Friday prayers for the last so many months now. 
and thousands of uh, Kashmiri human rights activists have been arrested since 5th August 2019 when India uh, unconstitutionally illegally stripped uh, the occupied uh, Jammu and Kashmir state of its special status. Uh, since then, thousands of activists have been arrested, put behind bars. And then we know that uh, the Hurriyat leadership and many uh, human rights activists who are struggling for their right to self determination, uh, well, people like Dr. Qasim Faktu, who is uh, behind bars for the last 26 years. Uh, his wife, uh, Mrs. Asya Andrabi, is uh, in jail for the last so many years now. And then there are so many other Hurriyat leaders who are either behind bars or uh, under house arrest. So uh, India is uh, doing all these things with impunity and there is uh, one doesn't really fi find adequate reaction on the part of the international community. Uh, hence, India is emboldened to continue with this violence and Hindu extremists are abetted uh, uh, to continue with their violence against uh, minorities and uh, continue uh, their, uh, uh, their uh, illegal and reprehensible activities. So one uh, doesn't really know where would this end up uh, and unless the international community uh, is able to wield enough pressure on the BJP government, uh, I do not see much hope that this situation uh, will improve or uh, uh, the Hindu extremists will listen to anyone. Uh, and uh, I have, uh, I do not have uh, much hope uh, in, in the sense that uh, the BJP uh, and other Hindu extremist organizations, uh, they are working uh, uh, towards, uh, I mean, according along with, according to the uh, Hindutva philosophy uh, and that is their ultim ultimate goal to establish uh, a Hindu state, uh, Hindu Rashtra. Uh, in which uh, Muslims and Christians in particular do not have any place. Uh, and this is uh, uh, quite disturbing, uh, quite disconcerting in my view. And uh, I think the international community, uh, while uh, one hopes that uh, Indian civil society would also uh, raise their voice, but uh, they have their own problems, their own difficulties. So one hopes that the international community uh, both at the government and non-governmental levels uh, would uh, understand, realize the gravity of the situation on the ground and uh, would uh, take appropriate steps in order to stop uh, this, this, uh, uh, this, uh, uh, this violence against uh, Muslims and Christians. Uh, we are, uh, I am keeping my fingers crossed and, and uh, waiting for something uh, positive to, uh, to, to, to happen because uh, this is uh, sheer madness at the end of the day. Thank you very much.